Hey everybody! So I'm going to be doing a really quick eye tutorial. This is going to be all matte colors, which I enjoy wearing quite frequently. This is just a very basic look, basic eye contouring that I enjoy doing. Uh, if you're wondering what I already have on my face, I will link that video down below. I tried out a bunch of new products on my face and kind of did a first impressions, but this is just going to be the eye tutorial. I did use products from a bunch of different places. This is not like a one palette look. These are my favorite matte shadows from a bunch of different places, but you could totally find a palette that had similar colors and work with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just apply this to my eyes. I haven't been wearing eye primer in a long time, but I recently started putting my MAC Pro Longwear on my eyes, and I just like the way that um, it brightens. It obviously it holds the eyeshadow on um, well as well, but I just like the way that it brightens. So I'm trying to, pushing down on the sides of this because this pumps out way too much. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that and place it on my eyes. Alright, first I'm going to start with a somewhat neutral color. This one is from the Be Matte palette from the Balm. It's the color Matte Sing. And it's very neutral on me. It's got a little bit more kind of orangey tones in it. And it just blends really nice into my crease. So I'm going to take some of that, dust it off. I'm using a large fluffy brush. This one's from Sigma. It's the Tapered Blending E35. And I'm just going to kind of messily place that into my crease. As you can see, it doesn't give off too much color. I don't have to worry about being too, too precise. But it just kind of frames the eye and also makes the next eyeshadows blend better. Alright, I'm still with that color and the big brush. You could switch to a smaller brush, but I don't mind this big brush. I'm just dragging some underneath my lower lash line. Again, this color is so light that it doesn't matter if it comes down quite a bit away, so that's why I don't mind using a big brush. Next, I'm going to take this brown color. This is Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek. This is my favorite matte brown color at the moment, I'm letting it focus. Uh, it's very neutral, not too light, not too dark. And I really like working with darker colors on my eyes first and doing the lighter colors last because I feel like it doesn't get all muddy. I can just put those light colors on at the end and it's done. So I'm going to take a smaller brush this time. This is the Small Tapered Blending E45 from Sigma. As you can see, it's more pointed on the end. And I'm going to take this, dab it on, and then I'm going to focus this more in the outer V portion. So I'm being a bit more precise here kind of dragging it and staying right in my crease and also drink, dragging it down in a V motion on the side of my eye. I'm not really trying to blend it at this point, I'm just trying to place it down. Sometimes I'll do dabbing motions like this just to get a bit more of that color. And this is a good color because it's, it's not too crazy, it's not too dark right off the bat. I'm actually going to keep this look quite light. If I were wanting more of a dramatic contoured eye or as going out at night, then I would go in after blending with a darker color on top of this. But this is more of a daytime look. So yeah, just that V motion down the side and that V motion into the crease. Then I'm going to switch again to that big fluffy brush. This is where I'm going to start to blend things out. I find it's always best to place it where you want it and then blend it afterwards. Just gives more of that gradient look. I blend the sides out as well, kind of like that more cat eye look. I also blend it onto my eyelid a bit so there's no harsh lines. Sometimes I kind of wipe my brush off so it's as clean as possible. Once I'm happy with that blending, I'm going to go and do it again one more time. Same color, same process. Alright, once you're happy with the blending, you can take that same color on the same brush and just drag a bit under your lash line to about halfway. It just kind of pulls the look together in my opinion. Adds a bit of depth and framing of the eye down there. So yeah, you can just keep going back adding darker colors, as long as you keep blending, 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 and not adding too much, then you're generally pretty safe. Alright, so next I'm going to take more of a flat-sided brush. 
I'm using this Tarte palette in Poppy Picnic, and I'm going to take the lightest shade right there. It's like a matte, really almost a white. It's a cream, but more on the white side. I'm just going to take some on my brush and apply it directly underneath my eyebrow. I kind of drag it down out towards my face. I'm also going to take that same color, my daughter's sneezing, and um, place it on my inner corner. Alright, the last thing I'm going to do is take two colors, that same light cream color, and then this color here, which is similar but has more of a pink shade to it, more of a nude tone to it, and I'm going to take both together on the same brush, and that's going to go directly on my eyelid. You can see how pigmented these matte colors are. They are fabulous. I'm basically putting it down everywhere th that I've missed with every other eyeshadow. So the inner third to half, once I get to halfway, I'm just going to blend the brown with that matte color or that matte cream color so it looks a little bit more blended. And same thing on the other eye. Alright, so I'm just going to finish with some eyeliner and some mascara and then I will show you what it looks like. Alright, so here's the finished look. I decided just to do a basic winged eyeliner and mascara. I'll come in close so you can see. It's just a very basic, everyday, matte kind of contour eye. Like I said, you could easily take this to tonight by placing um, more of a darker shade in the crease and underneath and blending that out. The key is definitely blending. But yeah, this is definitely just an everyday look for me. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to check out the video down below if you haven't seen it of my first impressions of these face products. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!